The natural world is filled with beauty, complexity and the unique kind of energy that can provide great inspiration for any form of creativity. Wherever it's observing a sunset, a mountain range, trees or clouds rolling in the sky, nature can be a powerful source of creative inspiration. During this winter walk, I was inspired by the tree submerged in a stream, which gave me an idea to create an aquarium with a strong part above the water. Welcome on Yokuchi Aquascaping Channel! The size of this tank is 120 by 50 by 50. This tank is running without CO2 with minimal fertilization to keep this tank low maintained. This is the tank ideal for busy people because the plants do not require frequent trimming. Due to minimal fertilization and the huge weekly water changes, I have no problem with algae. The tank provides a lot of swimming space for the fish and other aquarium animals. Now I will show you how do I create this aquascape. Stay tuned! To create this aquascape, I use red moor, driftwood, and some local bits of the wood. I join them with the cyanoacrylate glue and the paper towel. To mask a gluing area, I used a ground coffee. The stones used to build the base of the aquascape are Frodo stones. I used a base layer fertilizing substrate and a normal aqua soil on top of it. To put epiphyte plants in the right place, I used a gel type glue. In the project, we use many different easy slow growing plants, such as Bulbetis, Anubias, Bucephalandra species, and Microsorum. From fast growing plants, I choose Valicinaria species to add a climate to the whole aquascape. For a busy people, the maintenance is a key aspect of owning the tank. In this case, the maintenance is very quick and simple, because the main things to do is cleaning the glass, sand and making the water change. Now you can see how easy this process is. After the whole process, I will give you some pro tip how to trim the Valicinaria species. Come on! If we have too long 
plant leaf, we need to trim it, but don't trim it straight. Make the cut more like this. The plant will have healthy tips and the leaf should not die after the trimming. When the maintenance process is over, now it's time to relax and enjoy our fish tank. If you like this episode, please subscribe to the Yukuchi Aquascaping channel, hit the bell notification so do not miss the future uploads. See you soon. Bye.